take this chip if you're if you're uh, from the government. No, no. Nah, nah, that's exactly what a government pigeon would do. I saw that, bro. You almost slipped up. What is crack -a everybody? We're going to talk to the crew, see if we can get some things uh, to talk about. Um, especially with the collector ship. See what everybody's thinking about that. First, it's going to be uh, the ne'er-do-well. Hey. What's happening? Shepard, we talked enough. You're just pissing around. No hard feelings, but I don't want to play. I should go. Whatever. All right, so she doesn't want to talk, which is fine by me. Kenneth, do you think we'll make it through this? Of course we will, Gabby. I mean, as long as we take down the collectors, it's all worth it. Even if we don't make it. Don't even think that. We'll make it through. Oh, Kenneth, you do got, you do have like a, you do have some compassion in there somewhere. No wonder Gabby likes you. Gabby, you're very honorable, but we're not gonna die. Whenever we have time, I've gotten the migrant fleet's location. I'll get back to you, Tally. Talk to you later. Okay, so these guys are just gonna be talking about their mission, so I think it's a waste of time. Zaid will have something to say. Thinking about past missions. Got a minute. You might learn something. Uh, how to learn to be a jerk? Collectors and Protheans. It's all about my pay grade. I'm more used to putting down rebellions, tracking down bastards who didn't pay their gambling debts. Still, even I know a galaxy-shaking revelation when I hear one. Makes fighting land wars for pay seem small time. Yeah, but it also makes it absurd that you would be on this mission. Ever been to a Batarian prison? They don't trust you enough to sell you into slavery. That's why they say. Alright, Zaid. In there you got two choices. Bash your head open on the wall. Or kill everyone yeah, between we don't wanna... you and the exit. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I'm, I'm sick of I'm I'm sick of him just like whipping it out and 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 talking like that. Kasumi? Hey, got a minute? So you and Kelly, huh? Sounds like you two had a nice date. What the hell? I thought she was coming on to me at first, but maybe she was just being friendly to the new girl. Oh, for crying out loud, really? One of the girls in navigation thinks she might be pregnant. Even aboard a Cerberus vessel, uh. life finds a way. Access to life support is restricted. How the hell do they know Kelly and I? Really? We had dinner. Now it's all over the freaking ship. I can't believe the collectors were once Protheans. I always pictured Protheans Old being regal, not giant bugs. Who knows what the Reapers did to them? Creepy. Yeah, Golcine, you're right, because that's what it was, but for some reason they decided to just like scrap everything and and rewrite How everything. How can I help you, Commander? You have everything. Absolutely. You need. Since you set up my I won't take any more of your time. Back to work. So he has nothing to say about it, and Chakwas probably has nothing to say about this either. How may I help you, Commander? I'll see you later, Doctor. Commander. Really? She has nothing to say about all this. This is kind of weird, but okay. That's kind of weird. Okay, so... No messages for you, Commander. Thank you, Kelly. By the 20th time, this gets really boring. Anomaly detected. Sinmara. Since its moon, Sinmara has been used for many generations to monitor its parent star, Solvig. There's no atmosphere to interfere with solo solar observational equipment, which is critical at this juncture. The star recently shows signs of erupting prematurely into a red giant. In preparation for the day when the critical warning goes out, the extranet channel from Sinmara's research station is giving top priority throughout the comm buoys in the system. The chances of such a signal being received over the sun's magnetic interference at that time is low, but relegating it to a lower channel 
proved politically unattainable. Magnetic shielding failure detected. Catastrophic solar radiation exposure probable. Magnetic shielding failure detected. Catastrophic solar radiation exposure probable. Magnetic Something on our sensors. Planetary scans indicate that the Sinmire colony is vulnerable to its sun hazardous solar flares. Malfunction detected in colony's magnetic shield. Shield must be reactivated to avoid exposing colony to unstable solar activity and potential annihilation. Okay, so it's just going to be me? I guess it's just gonna be me. Well, this is nice though. Look at this. Look at this. This is pretty cool. All right, I'll give them that. That's easy. That was it. That was it. Well, it's got some nice, it's some nice cinematic stuff, but but it does not appear to be a distress signal. Resource, uh, large quantities of mineral resources available, but obscured behind walls of dense stone. resources buried deep within the canyon walls. Heavy explosives will be required to excavate them. I paid Herrick good money for this useless heap of signal error error detected serious caches of resources here on the planet but memory leak detected all right i said sure the thing leaks fuel like a volus after a mug of rind coal but i can deal with that good nice little phrase i like that uh so i took off and laid out a trail power cells leading from where i uploaded the mech to bad package please restart so i could at least get the thing moving and now illegal vault detected won't even move damn that swindling elcor i don't think an elcor is a swindler piece of Signal.
And that's it. <laughs> and Grunt is so happy that he was taken out and, and got to experience that. MSV Strotium Mule. Derelict ship. Visibly damaged. Weapons fire ship is not responding to hails despite life signs aboard. Okay. Well, Blue Suns were taking Zaid. And we're taking Grunt. Boyos. You guys want some Girl Scout cookies? Accounted. Taking cover. I'll put them down. The incoming ship isn't leaving. Looks like the fools are moving aboard. The airlocks are sealed, so don't waste your time. Get a team together and be ready to welcome them to our cargo hold. Blow them out of the cargo bay doors when you're done, Captain Voorhees. Oh, well, Voorhees. I remember... I'm thinking that's what a Star Trek. What the hell are they doing here? I think it's a Star Trek episode. Voorhees? All airlocks are sealed. So we can't. Okay. All right. Well, looks like we're not going to have any cover. Do you hear anyone else? Care, you seen the stash they pulled from cargo? We got it. we get that open. We're living the high life for months. Sergeant Bortis took the canister topside while Voorhees went to pry the codes from the ship's captain. Man, I wouldn't want to be that guy, Hawkins. Okay. Let's get it. That ought to do it. FTL drive damage repaired with substandard parts. We're just going to complete the area of his imminent. Terrific. 
Really? Really? They stripped him and killed him. That is disgusting. So that means this isn't a bridge, right? Head up, man. The intruders are still alive, fighting their way through the ship. They have Commander Shepard with him. You better get your men ready to fight. Worth is something up his sleeve. He's got the he's got the canister full of loot, and he's planning to do something to Voorhees and take it for himself. Wouldn't be surprised. Bethel. All right, so they know who I am. An operative. So I did all that for what? Nothing? Really nothing. Cutscene. want to play. I see. Oh, blue suns. For the blue suns. Better be ready. I hear the intruders making their way here. You better be ready with backup. The captain was not forthcoming with information. 
But I found his codes in the ship's black box. We'll get that canister open. First, we have to kill these intruders, Captain Borghese. clear. Fucking serious! This has got the, this is the best combat system in all the Mass Effect games. Oh my god! Got it. You guys suck. This is hor. Are you freaking kidding me here? This is horrible combat system. Can you guys go somewhere? I got it. I'll be there. Seriously, guys? Really? You couldn't do a damn thing. You didn't... That's like... Secure the... This is it. Get your men under control and ready to move. Intruders are the key. Once they hit the bridge, warriors call for us. Do not answer. The intruders will take them out for us and we'll get the coast of this canister ourselves. At this point, take out anyone on your list. The fewer men left, the bigger price for each of us. Well, that was stupid. Wasn't it? Why? Why aren't you letting me hack it? Hack this? <sighs> this game. This game, man. Better than Mass Effect 1? No. No. We can use this. Yep, it did. That's what it was. It was a bug out. Oh, 
crying out loud, man. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Uh, tell him to bite me. Um, <laughs> all right, that's it because uh, this, it just, oh, a lot of frustration. A lot of frustration so far. The bullet sponges, the, the janky AI, and, and I, I just can't. I got to put this down for uh, three days at least. Uh, <laughs> so when I come back, I don't know what the hell I'm going to be doing. Uh, but there's that. Anyways, uh, thanks for joining me. No messages for you, Commander. Uh, what's crack lacking, everybody? Um, so it's been a while since I played this. Uh, because it just got really, really frustrating. And maybe it's just one of those games, uh, a lot of games that I basically tossed aside where... The beginning, not so bad. Then in the middle, it becomes such a freaking grind. And then you become God mode by the end of the game where you're just blowing past everybody and it just becomes boring. So a lot of games do that nowadays. Um, I think it was one where I, I kind of play tested uh, God of War Ragnarok. No, nothing against people who like to play uh, God of War Ragnarok, but that's what it was. It was like the first, the beginning of the game was freaking easy. The middle of the game was just a pain in the butt. And then by the end of the game, it's you're just like, okay, I, I wanted this game over three hours ago. Uh, three or four hours ago. Uh, that was, that's, that's how I feel. And this game is kind of like that. So far. And it just didn't have a story to get me engaged. I mean, the collectors are Prothean, Protheans. Uh, Reapers were like, hey, there's still a Reaper thing. What's everybody been doing for two years? Oh, we've been ignoring the Reapers. We don't, uh, no Reapers, no Collectors. Everything's fine here. Everything's fine. It, it, it's like they're the, 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 the little, what? The little dog in the, uh, at the coffee table drinking his coffee and there's fire all around. He's like, this is fine. That, that's what's been happening since I've, I've been two years, which makes no sense, but two years uh, on a, uh, a lab table because apparently I did not disintegrate upon re-entry into an atmosphere. All right. Um, all right. So we got, we got, um, we got the map. Where, where are we, where, where are we going? Do we even want to do this? Ballistic missiles. All right. Launch detected. Report to hazard shelters immediately. Repeat. Javelin Mark II missile launch detected. Report to hazard shelters immediately. I have found something. Alliance colony defended by a Javelin missile base. Base is compromised by Batarians who have launched two missiles at the Alliance colony. Total destruction of colony is imminent. Zero property of my missile strike. Follow the control panel in the missile base. Five minutes. Oh, this is going to be wonderful, isn't it? This is going to be just absolutely wonderful. Five minutes. Okay, so we'll see. It'll take me three hours to get this five-minute mission. Uh, we're going to have biotics, and I don't care if you two don't like each other. We're going to see if you guys uh, can get this done.
What the? Really? It's so rich as good, damn it. Christ, that, wow, now Miranda goes, oh, maybe I should start firing at somebody. And of course, badass, and of course, badass Jack is down for the count once again. You know, most people would choose this or would choose saving the residential district. But really, I mean, they're going to suffer anyway. This is ridiculous. Uh, and the tactical viability. That We're did gonna, it. I hate to do it, but, you know... We're, we're at a war with the Reapers here, and unfortunately... We... I mean, that kind of sucks, but... Go. You know, I'm sure 9 out of 10 people would choose the residential. You just gotta... We got the Reapers, we got the Collectors. You give up tactical viability here. You kind of doom this system. And I hate to say it, but you can get a hundred more colonists. You can get hundreds of more colonists, but you, you can't rebuild the whole infrastructure. I, I, I think it's a, a tougher choice than most people would probably say. So. But you know me, I'm one of those rare guys. Oh, 
I can't do a thing. I'm stuck now. Now I'm freaking stuck. I'll put them down. Primary defense is offline. You know what guys that took me about eight tries to do simply because garris and especially grunt here kept on trying to basically uh perform oral sex on two freaking robots good freaking god man even though i told them to get back nope they went right headlong and grunt one time actually basically shot the explosive crate right in front of him. Whatever. But yeah. Best game of all... One of the greatest games of all time. Mass Effect 2. It's like right here, I just... I kind of... I just... I want to... Fucking guys, I, I really just want to shoot you. I, I want to shoot both of you. Client agent, agent, uh, client asked for directions. Commander Santiago. Client's agent folded under minimum pressure. Santiago's hunch crack. Um, Protean artifact. Why, why does he even have, why does he even have a commander? Why? Just because Command Commander Santiago, it, it, it's like Commander Shepard? The guy's part of the Blue Suns. There are no ranks in mercenary groups. If anything, it's like brother, warlord, something like that. Oh, great. So now we got to go on another freaking mission to go find this. I don't care anymore. I just don't care no more. Should do it really man these missions uh, these no missions messages for you commander thank god these missions i don't know man i don't know they just seem so worse that they, 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 they don't they just seem so empty and that firewalker thing that i mean the firewalker was just absolutely what a horrible dlc I would have been pissed if I paid money for that. 
All right, so now we're here, Xanatu, Believe, Garden World, blah, 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 Surface Gravity. General distress. User unregistered or record damaged. Nature of incident is not recorded. Assistance is requested. General distress. User unregistered or record damaged. Nature of incident is not recorded. Probe away. I have found something. Alliance resources. All ship keep signs. Missing freighter. MSV. Estevan Nico. Lost one year ago in the sector. Large shipwreck. Oh, wonderful. All right, so we can't do a crew here, so apparently this is just going to be me. about the Estevanico's final hours. Warning, disturbing the wreck could cause it to become unbalanced and fall over the cliff's edge. dangerous thing but it's like modern quick time event games where all I gotta do is go down here tiles are gonna fall there is like zero chance of me falling to my death it's just gonna be one of those jump scare kind of things although at this point I wish I could fall to my death um Are you kidding me? Oh, this game is so aggravating. Game is stupid and aggravating. I just love it. I can't just jump right here. God forbid. What, I break every bone on my body? I don't think so. Can't go here because I can't climb this little thing. I can't even jump five freaking centimeters. Yeah. Okay, so, uh, so yeah, so in order to do that, when Edie tells you, don't do anything because it might cause the whole thing to collapse into a cliff, the solution, the solution from these great game developers is to shoot the freaking ship so that tiles fall and crash here ever so perfectly so that you could go over here. When Edie specifically tells you that you could fall off the freaking cliff if you do something rash or upset the, the ship. Your first inclination is to shoot a bunch of rounds into the tiles 
Okay, no. My god, man. My what happened? What happened to the crew that made Mass Effect 1 and then made this thing? I just I don't know. I just don't know. Oh, can't go here. I, mean, I can't jump five feet. All right, what else do I gotta shoot? Let's just shoot everything. Because that's the solution to life's problems. When in doubt, just shoot everything. I know this video is just me shouting. This video is just me shouting. Well, here, this is why I named my channel Old Cranky Gamer because I knew when I played newer games, this is what was gonna happen. Because for some reason, I don't know what, I don't know what game developers have turned into, but they just sit there and go, hey, let's, let's do some aggravating nonsensical game mechanics. Let's just try to piss everybody off and make it so not unbelievable. Um, unbelievable. Because it's not about gaming. It's not about game mechanics. It's all about having an experience. Yeah, so isn't a cardiac arrest, man. A cardiac arrest is an experience. Sexually transmitted diseases are an experience. And that, this, if I ever got gonorrhea, that's what this would have been like. God, F that level. Oh, all right, I am, um, so it took me three days from the last- you received a new message at your Shut party. up, Kelly. It took me three days from the last, last video to come back to play in this. I don't know how long it's going to take me to come back and play this. Um, you know, at this point, I'm worried about losing subscribers simply because they're going to go, dude, you're going nuts, you're going crazy, and why are you playing this game when you hate it so much? It's like because the beginning started off decently enough. I, I, I loved the first game. I really loved the first game. I loved the lore. I loved the characters. And we have some of those characters back. I got, I got, oh. oh, okay. Let me just take a breath. We got some of those characters back. Oh. But so far, I mean, do we got another mission on this crap? Oh. Seventy-five. Hold. Let's just do. Hold on. Let's just do this. Probe launched. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just, get, just get it over, will ya? Away. 
probe away. All right, here we go. Server's hot spot, Deratar, blah, smuggling, blah, blah, blah. All right, let's just go down here and get it done. Well, all right. Great, wonderful. So now we got these freaking mechs who just destroy me like I was tissue paper. Alright guys, uh, we're gonna die about 18 times. It's okay. Like that, impending explosion. Oh. 
going now. Try shooting the bad guys. Ship spot in orbit, IFF Cerberus, farewell protocol, destroy, routine, mech security activated, locking access terminals locked. Oh, well, that's kind of fucked up. Alright, well, that's kind of messed up. Almost cost me. Maintenance, I had to perform another full maintenance. Same keeps getting in equipment. Rook C system checks. Have to be ready to shut this place if somebody spots us from orbit. Well, apparently, I guess they did. destroyed everything what do you mean B to end mission I'm sorry what did we that was it oh my god these these side quests I mean the whole freaking game is just a glorified side quest but these side quests this is ridiculous man that was it. It was just go in here and die a couple of times to these freaking mechs. Until you get lucky and they don't all three of them come at you at once. Because that's what they do. They're supposed to be staggered. But no, they're not staggered. It all depends. Because the AI is not very good. So what happens is sometimes all three of you will just jump you at once. Sometimes you're... Sometimes Tally and Morden just basically went up there and just tried to wipe their butts for them and so they died right away and it was just me against three whatever worker soldiers yeah yeah you know the um the the freaking husks of this game first alliance crew to counter, counter the vorka how frightened they must have been really yeah because the vorka are about the only things i can kill on a regular basis without you know without my crew members basically dying right off the bat. Especially if I give them commands. If I say, stay here and stay here. If I have one crew guy go to the left, one go to the right to try to flank the enemy, then they don't shoot at all. They just stay there. Yeah, thanks for my dedication. Uh, Deratar, nice work. Uh, valuable cargo, but we wouldn't land destroying the crates. All right, we're here at Chunka, and this is where we'll leave off. Probe launched.
All right, so we got Durak. We got actually some lore for the Krogans. So this one's real close to the sun. Five clan agree to a crush. Neutral location. All five arrive plan to betray their fellows while the leaders and their seconds met. All bases destroyed. Cannon strikes uh, left with only food, water, air in their heart. Only the food, water, and air in their heart suits. They apparently fought each other to the death. Yeah, okay. So I said. So, I mean, the Krogans are supposed to be the Klingons. I mean, I, I don't think anybody would say that they aren't. Launching probe. Alright, so we got Krubin. Krogan attempt to land a Krubin X or ships naked in an attempt to prove their Krogan hood. The plant surface litter with the crust corroded remains of their ships. Only one Shathnorda is known to have returned from the surface alive, a built with most of his bones crushed and all four of his lungs damaged by sulfuric acid. Norda recovered from his trial to the adulation of his people until he died in 1943. He could lie with any fertile female he wished. Okay. I, I, I would like to say it's a uh, that's rare, but you know human males do stuff stupid stuff like that to get a woman too. I don't know why, but uh... oh here here we go. Probe launched. Scientific curiosity. Yeah, Krogan don't lack. Yeah, Krogan's lack scientific curiosity. I guess they're they're, they're part Klingon and uh, part of something else. I don't know. <sighs> Begin to care less and less. All right. So next time. Scarred by bombardment craters, radioactive rubble, choking ash, salt flats, and alkaline seas. Chachanka can barely support life. Uh, life grew in fierce abundance under the F-class star. Eye of Wrath. Life fed upon life in an evolutionary crucible, which is why they... But you would think, you know, if it was... Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. See, now this doesn't make sense. Thousands of years ago, that's enough for some type of evolutionary process to happen, especially when it comes to reproduction. Where they wouldn't have as many uh, offspring, but world died nuclear firestorms after the Krogan split the atom. A little ice age of uh, nuclear winter. Uh, all this, all this bad, all this bad script writing in this game make you wish for a nuclear winter. Killed off too much of the reigning plant life. Okay, um, land at their own risk. CDEM went out attempt to extract citizens threatened by clan warfare. Ecology at Tuchaka is deadly. Every native species engaged in some predatory behavior, even the remaining vegetation is carnivorous. See, and that's why they had a lot of a lot of a lot of kids. Um anyway, so that'll be it. Um I'm gonna go feed my fish, I'm gonna go talk to my hamster, and I'm gonna say, why can't why can't the rest of the game be as great as my fish and my hamster? Uh, why can't it be just like that, right? And why can't it be just like this? Right, Hannibal? Yeah. Now why can't it be as pleasant as taking a piss like this? Whoa, my whole thing didn't shake this time. Um, kind of bummed. Can I just, can I just sleep and put my head under the freaking pillow? Really? Alright, so uh that's it. I I kinda I do like this view right here. Because I am on top of the ship. Of course, you know, if we get attacked, I'll probably be blown out of the the freaking ship first. 
because I don't think the shield's heavy protections are here. But, anyway. Come a little artifact from a, a DLC, I suppose. That's it. Uh, Zaid, I don't know why he's loyal. Uh, those missions are basically, I think they're loyalty missions. Um, we let his guy get away, but yet he's still loyal to me. So, and Jacob is loyal, okay. Jack is loyal out of all the people, really. And Kasumi, whatever. That's weird. That is just weird. I don't get it at all. Uh, I'm not sure about that whole thing. Um, anyways, um, like I said, it took me, th it took me three days, and then four days, and then, I don't know, it may take me a week before I come back to this game. I really just kind of have to, it, it's getting to the point where, like, after every mission now, it's just, I gotta sit back and go, I really don't want to play the game right now. I just really don't want to play it. I know that's kind of harsh for some of you guys, especially some of you guys that think this is one of the greatest games of all time. Um, but it's the AI, my, uh, my, 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 my two, um, my two crew members or squad mates, AI, it's just, it, it's so freaking aggravating what they do half the time. So it's basically Russian roulette. Sometimes they'll do the smart thing and they'll take cover and they'll fire and they'll shoot things. Other times they won't. Other times they won't follow my directions in order for us to kind of flank and then the enemy AI will just basically walk right up to me and kill me. That has happened where they've walked right up to me and I'm just shooting them point blank in the face and they get two shots off and I'm dead. Um, because no one else is shooting at them and I'm getting shot at by all sides because all of the enemies shoot me first it seems it seems about three-fourths of the time they ignore my squad mates because of course my squad mates aren't doing a damn thing uh, and I don't know if that's the legendary edition I don't know I don't know maybe it's mods that I have in the game that are causing this issue but no I don't have any gameplay mods all I have is a mod that says I can wear these things out in the Citadel I don't have to do the hacking thing I don't have to probe, which, God, boy, if I had to probe every planet, every little section, I, I think, I think, I think I would have gone mad by now. So it's going to be a while before I pick this game up again, uh, but I do have some hope. I do have some hope because we will be going to Tuchinaka and it'll be Morden and it'll be Grunt. Well, it'll be Morden. Grunt, um, not so sure. He does does not have the gravitas of Rex. He doesn't have the personality of Rex. He doesn't have the layers of Rex. And I really think he's he's just he's just a Krogan that is uh, going through puberty. And that is that is, I swear to God. This game more and more just seems like it's written by a 13 year old boy that found Pornhub for the first time. I'm sorry, sorry, I'm saying it. That's what it seems like. That's what it seems like. You know, from Miranda's revealing outfit, from Jack, and she had two strips on her, on her nipples. I mean, it's just, and then all the sexual innuendo talk that I haven't heard since middle school. I just, it's just those kind of things. I mean, even, I mean, they did a probing Uranus joke for crying out loud. So, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, it is just, it's a lot different than some of the uh, wink, wink, nudge, nudge kind of conversations uh, in Mass Effect 1, which seem to be very much adult. I mean, with Ashley and with um, Liara, 
Is it Liara? I forgot. I forgot the Asari's name. Dr. Tassoni. I re see. I remember her name is Dr. Tassoni. Even though Dr. Sony was very weird and I would never have that because she says, I'm barely, I'm barely a ch I think she says, I'm barely a child, which, and she's a romance option. So that is just weird. And I know it's because, you know, I know it's because she's a sorry and you go, oh, well, that she's just talking in context. But still, she said, I'm barely, uh, not barely a child. I'm, I, I was, um, I'm barely an adult or something. Which means it's like, uh, okay, I'm not going to be basically dating a uh, new teen. You know, like, I'm not going to date a 14 year old Asari. Thank you very much. But even hers was kind of like a, um, and she did have kind of a teenage kind of romance thing with Shepard, uh, idolizing him. But Ashley was a little bit different, you know? Ashley's romance was very mature. It had some of the, 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 it had some of the poetry, which people might find awkward, but you know what? It's like, uh, Ashley's awkward. And Shepard's kind of awkward. So I, it, it felt there, it felt different. But then sometimes you got, you got Donnelly, who I like, I like, but he talks, he talks like, he talks like a 14 year old boy. And even Gabby she sort of talks like, uh, you know, she talks a little bit older, but she talks like somebody that's in college, that's a freshman in college. Uh, Tally is the only one that really sounds mature so far. Uh, Zaid just sounds. Zaid sounds like a, a senior in high school football player, braggadocious, bragging about like stuff you shouldn't be bragging about. I mean, Joker and Tally are so far, and then you know, and then I got the inappropriate conversations of fraternization with Kelly. Uh, <laughs> but uh, so I shouldn't really talk that much. But anyways, that's that's it for me. Uh, when I come back to it, I'll come back to it. And, but I'm hoping that these stories with Grunt and Morden, especially Morden, will be very satisfying. And that uh, it'll even keel over the frustration I felt over the last couple of episodes. Um, but I do appreciate you joining me. And uh, uh, I, I, there's, there's a handful of you that watch my videos in full. So uh, it's like I'm not even talking to half of you. Most of you won't even know what I'm saying right now. Uh, but um, I appreciate your likes and everything like that. But uh, people who actually watch the videos, I, yeah, I know I'm getting uh, very frustrated at this game. Uh, we'll have to see. Anyways, thanks for joining me. Bye.